as i said no first we'll go through this uh, javascript program we have uh, designed for validations i just show you windows forms application also we did on this windows forms application mm. let's check once javascript and then we'll go with next visual studio 2017 Where it is, I don't remember. I'll just see. I have to see all the files. Ah, this example exactly. It is there. Twenty-seven demo JavaScript twenty-seven. Okay, it's there. This file I was talking about. Hmm. blur event you remember last session i said no i asked you to revise blur event and on focus you remember or not yesterday's class ah exactly now we will run this code we have to run run this code okay let me try it solution explorer cat 27 it is 27 right click view in browser hmm. now now what i want you to do that's what now we already did this this is what we are going to discuss again now that's called validation what is validation until and unless you don't type user name you are not supposed to go to password now if i try currently username i just try to go to password yeah tab i should press username cannot be empty and cursor remains in the same see currently cursor is in username i press tab username cannot be empty and cursor remains same but here also it should get yeah same message you see i'm trying to click here it's giving me a message username cannot be empty means without username you can't go to what password that's what validation you are controlling now you are you are restricting a user not to go to other fields until and unless you don't make data entry in one of the text box as compulsory but did, do you notice we have written big code here you see this much of code we added here this code using javascript we did this today i'm going to talk on the same part same concept but approach will change not change everything will be same only only few additional things i'm going to introduce function will be same everything will be better copy i'll copy this code also and i'll keep it in uh, this one text box uh, i'll copy this copy but i don't use the uh, uh, this technique okay so what i I'll, according to, now i'm going to show you validation through javascript only but designing will be through asp dot net that that makes a difference okay i copied this content i'll just put it in notepad later i need to copy it back to the program okay close this create a new project file new website 
14 done Now, add a web form. Yes. Mm -hmm. Here. Same content I'll do, okay? Same. Username ASP colon text box run at server txt un yes ASP colon label why I'll explain later okay ID Label one run at server. Label one break line, break line. So this is your label uh, named as label one okay now i'm going to give one more column called password asp colon text box run at server id txt pwd password text box now here also I will give ASP colon label ID label 2 run at server text equal to label 2 and here also we will write break line break line 2 uh, this one we have controls. Now what I want is um, now I have to handle um, what blur event blur event. So for that what you are supposed to do um, go to code behind file F7 yeah here in page load event I will write txt username dot attributes dot add which event you said on blur event comma f1 function semicolon on blur is event f1 is function now you go to default.aspx page then um, we are in head section now go to head section and i already have copied that content now same thing i'll paste here okay so in head section, what is the what is the content? I make corrections in it. I want exactly we don't write because approach is changed now. 
I paste here. Okay. Control KD. Here I am. Control KD. Okay. Now, which function you are calling? F1. Now, username dot value equal to space. Now, I don't want to use alert. Instead of using alert, I'll write document dot get element by ID label one dot inner HTML is equal to please input username username dot focus that is same mm, no we don't want to already I'm raising that even through this one uh, asp.net and here I write else document dot get element by id same label label one dot inner html equals to okay semicolon yes this is the code uh, yeah now let's run the code debug start with our debug Ahmed. Then I'll use tab key. Tab. You find the text. Okay. Then. Obviously, I didn't write validation for password. Let's not call. Let's not talk on that. Acha. One more thing. Mm, this okay is it, no? Uh, okay. I want to display one second. Okay, that is label actually. Okay, so I'll, I'll just do one thing. This label, na? so I wantedly will change it's uh, this one. Uh, foreground color. Four color, okay. I'll make it for red. Yeah. Uh, font, I'll make bold also. So right. Only for this I'm saying. Let's run. No, don't type. Don't type anything. Just try to use tab key. Please input username. Cursor is in the same text box. It won't let you go to. It won't let you go to. Password. Until and unless you don't enter what user name. Until unless you don't input what user name. Okay, input now. Ahmed tab. You'll get okay. Obviously, I'm handling the code with JavaScript. So there's no question arises of button and all. We're not submitting the form to some server. Understand that please clearly. We are not submitting the form to server. But obviously code is very lengthy. You should know all this stuff to manage it. How to raise event. That is important. We are using attributes. Then JavaScript code.
only replacement if you see to the program what we studied in javascript is one difference here alert was there i removed it and i connected this to label an interesting thing i have written validation only for username only for you what about password then what about password then obviously you should add, handle one more event txt username dot attribute sorry txt password dot attributes dot add on blur some other function f2 obviously the question arises if i have 10 text boxes and if i want to handle events in tech 10 text boxes if i want to handle validations on 10 text boxes then the code goes easily 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 10 tens are 100 lines of code i'm supposed to write now so to avoid to avoid writing manual javascript for client side validations we are going to use now validation controls what you can use validation controls And what these controls will do? These controls are used for validating. These controls in the sense what? Validation controls. You can read like this. Validation controls are used for validating controls. It's like controls are going to validate controls. Where do they where do they validate? Obviously, in browser. Before a form is submitted to server, before a form is submitted, I think you want your validations to happen. If everything is perfect, then we will submit the form to server. Okay. So we don't write. Now we don't write any coding. Rather, only thing to remember is about properties. You've got ready-made controls and properties. Background, JavaScript coding and all, those controls will take care of. As an ASP.NET developer, you don't need to bother about all this stuff. You don't need to bother about any coding. You just make use of controls. You just make use of controls and try to make those controls available without writing any program manually. You drag and drop your control, do some settings, and coding will be done by the control on client side that is for browser simple topic straight away controls properties to remember analyze done with the implementation and when you go to MVC you got more strong validations introduced in MVC than ASP dot connected part I mean to say though they are controls you are not supposed to take it for granted rather it also requires practice. It also requires few things to even, uh, you know, go through it. I, I never say to memorize. No, it's not about memorizing. It's only about practicing so that you can remember them easily.
and we have lot of things to you know discuss about this classes this built in built in controls one you call base validator the way i'm writing that makes my lot of difference okay don't forget that base validator b and b can capital controls every control is a built in class i already said that point then there is something called validation summary uh then required field validator controls i am talking about then compare validator range validator regular expression validator custom validator yes these all are different different controls that are provided under what validation controls under validation controls and what we learn specially about base validator it is you know parent of all validation controls all all for base validator you can say it's a parent of all the validation controls or rather you can say that whatever the validators i have listed in the down they all you can say they all are like child classes of base validator in that way also you can understand like required field validator right range validator regular expression validator custom validator all these are what ah they are all they are all inherited they are all derived from what base validator control hope you even remember hope you remember base class whatever the members you have in it they are accessible by derived classes inheritance so members available in base class are accessible in derived classes in derived classes okay now let's see one after the other how do we up, go with the implementation part of all this close you don't need this only for a demonstration i created file or we'll use the same application nothing wrong because that is however will be will have a reference better i just close and add a new form yes close this now add one form website add new item web form default 2.aspx click on add yes now you know uh, when i go in this part there will be easy for you to have comparison okay right first what i want to do i would like to have one text box as i created username password now exactly to that point only i'll be creating what what the content i create i use first name asp colon text box id equal to txt first name run at server okay text box is ready okay text box is ready exactly same way i'll write break line break line and i'll add last name asp colon text box id equal to txt last name run at server text box then break line break line that is last and since this is purely 
validation okay and it's being checked and you need to uh, before a form is submitted to server you want your browser to go through it let's have button also asp colon button id equal to btn submit run at server text equal to submit yes button you want to check this go to design window it looks like this right i i still remember i have not introduced any validation control it's normal designing i have done execute yes don't input this don't input just click on submit form is submitted to server back button enabled back button enable it means form is submitted to server even without entering any data in first name and last name this i want to restrict i want to restrict think about the point no like when you when you want to enter into your personal email account every domain will ask you to provide your credentials imagine a situation when it asks you for username and password without writing username without writing password if you click on submit obviously makes no point in entering into your account even if you without giving username if you give password even doesn't allow you to enter into your account if you give username and without password even will not allow so these are what not that thing but you you are being restricted you are being provided with some to apply what validations conditions but as of now no validation i haven't applied any validations chalo then do one thing then. you want to apply now chalo right so what i do is go to design window now interesting thing beside the first name beside beside the first name here text box is there na ah uh, go to toolbox you can see a category called validation yes in that validation compulsory you should enter data in first name compulsory without it you are not allowed to enter into uh, or you are not allowed to go to last name so simple is the case required field validator drag and drop beside first name required field validator drag and drop beside what first name chalo right now no no coding nothing this this control will take care of go to properties just do the settings go to properties now what exactly i am trying to do now is now what i am trying to do is first i'll give id id for this control here i have and i'll give required field validator first name so this is a control working for first name in that context i give that name okay now what error message you want okay give that error message here here error message error error message now what you want to give please provide first name please provide first name only indication provide first name hmm. and that should be with the red color okay done appear the same uh, now now another important point i should give an indication i should give an indication if without entering data here without without entering data in the uh, what do you call uh, a first text box without entering data in first text box if you try to go to second text box it should give you an indication what indication 
just a message it should give message and that message is required that will be an indication for you it will give you a message required means you should enter data there remember error message is different text is different error message is different text is different do one thing now this this required field validator you want to connect to whom text box so you have control to validate control control to validate txt first name yes but only one we will try i said now we'll talk about other things later later only i explain you about required field validator and I, when i go to properties of it you can see whichever bold text you find those settings i have done like id i have set which control to validate text it for identification four color error message okay save this and i'll run the code and now remember remember when i run this code read read it says something now you won't get output but read it says something yes okay let's try click on submit error i said now program will not work actually i should get a message there. instead you got a message instead you got server error server server error and you got a message web forms un obtrusive un obtrusive validation mode requires a script resource mapping and you got a message invalid operation exception simple it's not working if it is working i would have got some message there in my browser without entering data whenever i enter it would have given a message called required but we didn't get hence a rule rule now remember for the first time we are now communicating with one file in our project and that is called web.config yes and you have to do some settings here here okay uh, where where you have to do fine system.web here system system dot web in this either above or before doesn't matter here I should write what I should write is okay configuration might be yeah in configuration not in uh, system dot web app settings application settings inside it you should write add key equal to now i write validation settings colon unobtrusive unobtrusive validation mode and after that i should say value equal to none value equal to none compulsory these settings you have to do before you before you make your web page validated an obtrusive validation mode and value equal to none yes close this web.config and this is this is a part which we added in configuration under configuration this is added in configuration validation settings colon unobtrusive validation mode and value equal to that 
okay we add it okay now let's see once now let's go execute the code now if you go to design window required field valid here one control added control and in that whatever settings have done that you find run at server id txt first name error message uh, four color required everything required i'm getting here but actually i added required in text property you can also do this remove required from here and write in text one and the same your wish it is control is added Yes, now let's run the code now. Go to design window. Go to ex execute the code. Yes, same. Don't don't input anything, please. Submit. Required. Page is not submitted to server. Page is not submitted to server. You can see back button still enabled. Back button still it is disabled of the browser. Browser, browser back button is still disabled because form is not yet submitted to server and you got an indication there required. It means I should enter data in the first name. Then only my form will be submitted to server. Okay, then give now. This time you give. Ahmed. Okay, now submit. Yes, back button enabled. Means form is submitted to server. Simple. You see, no coding, nothing. No coding, nothing. That's it. So it is not yet over. We just have covered.